Welcome to Bonita Boat Center, folks. You're gonna see me very jazzed up about this. I love the Regulator 28, all right? This specific boat was used in our Boat Junkie Lifestyle TV show that runs on Sundays on Fox. So a lot of really cool things about this boat. But the first thing that I wanna point out, kind of follow me here, Ricky, a little bit. Check out the Carolina flare on this boat. I am literally standing underneath the gunnel. What does that mean? That means a dry and a soft rag. Amazing. I could stand underneath here in a thunderstorm and not get wet. That's how much flare and how wide that bow is on this boat. The gunnels, amazing. Let's go up, check out some of the really cool features and benefits of this 2020 Regulator 28. All right, welcome aboard the 2020 Regulator 28. This is where things get exciting here in the cockpit. So as you guys probably have found out, I like to fish a little bit. So what I love about the regulator, right here you're gonna have a refrigerated fish box. So all your catch, refrigerated fish box, plenty of room down in here, okay? Another really cool feature for this boat, nice big lighted live well for your bait, which is the most important. When you're out there catching those big threads, pinfish, white bait, greenbacks, plenty of room to keep them nice and live. Nice big seal that goes all the way around so it keeps everything tight. Very good. Now let's talk about the Yamahas, twin 300s on a 28 foot boat. So let me give you a quick little tip about regulator. So when regulator says 28, they mean 28 feet of running surface. So this boat actually is over 32 feet long with the Armstrong bracket. Those 300s, this boat jumps right up on plane, 24 degree dead rise equals a soft, quiet ride. When you're out there in those three to five foot seas in this boat, I'm telling you, you'll enjoy the ride out and you'll enjoy the ride back in. Amazing how this boat handles in rough seas. Okay. So I'm gonna show you another cool feature about this boat, it's the bilge access. One thing that reigns all the way across the 23 regulator, all the way to the 41 regulator, is the bilge access and how they have it laid out and they have it marked. So, you know, if you're that guy that likes to go in and work on stuff, I'm not, not mechanically inclined at all. So good thing my son is. So I want to show you the bilge access on this, and it's amazing. You can literally climb down into the bilge if you like. Everything's very open. Got your bilge, you got your live well pumps, everything right down in here, very easy access. And again, everything's labeled. Really easy to jump in there if you need to get something. Let me go ahead and close this up. Let's talk about the tackle station right back here. Love this aspect of the boat, right? Plenty of storage for all your baits, hooks, sinkers. Most important, leader line. They even left some from us, for us. Again, keep in mind, we actually use this exact boat in one of our series, Boat Junkie Lifestyle, that we air on Fox every Sunday. Actually, you might've seen me on one of those shows too, in a pontoon. They still won't let me go fishing with Jason and Captain Drake. I don't know why. Joe says he won't let me off work. So so let's take a look here at the helm station. Again, true regulator style. If you look at how heavy duty everything is, solid windshield, vented windshields for those hot days in Southwest Florida, you pop that vent open, you're getting fresh air coming in when you're running out to your spot. This boat is equipped with the 8600s. I love the 8600s and you'll probably hear me talk about it every time when we have the Garmin 8600 series on board a boat. The new auto guidance system in this is amazing. Before when you'd go to a spot you'd have to plot your course A, B, C, D. Now you figure out right where you want to go, hit auto guidance and the GPS will take you right to it, run you through the channels, you can put in your depth, your minimum depth your maximum height for if you have to go underneath any bridges. Such a great feature on this boat. I love that. Again, true regulator style, all of push button, light up, very easy, stainless, Yamaha gauges, 
VHF radio, push button start and stop, Polk radio system in it, also the Garmin VHF. When you're looking at the T-top, you're gonna see recessed courtesy lights. You're gonna see, <coughs> excuse me, I and forward uh, spreader lights. Something as simple as this, folks. I love this. When Regulator does all of their boats, individual footrests. Most drivers, when you're driving a center console, like to drive standing up. So your significance out, you're out with your significant other, put your feet right down there and you can still stand up while you're operating the boat. A really neat feature. Another feature here is the storage area here for some dock lines if you need it. Whatever you want, notice they keep it nice and dry because it has that great big seal. Trim tabs with the boat. Let's come around to the front of the boat here. Let me show you some of the cool features up front. So now we're standing. So like you go out and you fish all day and you have a great time. Well, when you get back, you want to spend some time with the family. You want to go out to the restaurant. You want to go to the beach. Regulator says, hey, no problem at all. We're going to put all the cushions on up here. We're going to give you the backrest right here that pop right up. Sit forward. And again, true regulator style where they have the recess, nice and level grab rails. So when you're running, everything's really nice. You got a good grip cup holders up and down, speakers forward. You can't see it right now, but if you see these holes here, 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 and here, this boat has what's called a forward shade, right? So on those nice days and you want to get out of the sun when the boat's not running, you're at the beach, this has a shade that covers the whole bow area. Really nice when you're trying to entertain the family or guests that come down and visit. Hopefully for not too long though. Again, let's talk about storage, man. Look at all the storage in here. You got plenty of storage down in here. You've got rod holders. There's over 132 quarts of dry storage on this boat, which is amazing. Really cool feature too. You had the windlass up here, access to the windlass. Very easy to get to. So, if you want to come down and see this 28, right south Tamiami, right here, Bonita Springs, Florida, or you can visit us at BonitaBoatCenter.com. Come out and see, this is the exact boat that we used in one of our live TV shows, Boat Junkie Lifestyle. Thanks again for taking the time with us. Stop down and see us anytime.